Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. So today is review day of the Yamaha PSRE 363 keyboard. I picked this up a while back from Long McQuaid for about $249 Canadian, $35 bucks for a stand, and $10 bucks for a used sustain pedal. The pedal is the only part that's used. Everything else brand spanking new. Uh, anyway, um, like I said, I've had this for a bit. I haven't actually had a lot of time in on it since I got it. I've been too busy learning drums, and now I'm you know, teaching myself right-handed guitar, and you know, plus I still got my lefties to play, and other things on the go, and it's like, ah, I need some time to play. Um, so anyway, um, this thing has got a lot to offer for the money. Now, first off, I would highly recommend this thing to the serious beginner player. So if you have a uh, kid at home, or even an adult for that matter, that is serious about trying to learn piano, or wanting to learn piano, um, this is definitely a really great starting point um, to get you into it. Now this way, I mean, if you do decide to quit, you don't lose a lot of money, right? Um, so better to start with something at least decent to get you going. Now this has 61 keys. They are not weighted keys, not for that kind of money, uh, but they are touch responsive. Now this thing does not have massive amounts of output either, okay? Uh, in fact, if I turn the master volume down to 12 o'clock position, okay, it's really not loud until you get right up here. Um, you max it out. Then it can get a little obnoxious, okay? I like around the three o'clock position. starting to learn to use the black keys finally. <laughs> it only took me most of my life to get around to doing it. Um, I've been playing piano actually on and off since I was a little kid. Literally like, you know, yay I. And i uh, always been fascinated. Don't know why, but I always love the sound of the actual piano itself. However, uh, I don't have the room in here for a real piano and I wouldn't want one anyways because everything that I want and then some is packed into something like this. Now this is a temporary solution. You guys know if you've been on my channel, I had the EW400, uh, which at the time I got it was their flagship model, and it's considered to be a pro-level uh, series keyboard, you know, and um, in the PSR series, and it had like you know like stereo line outs or mono line out, headphone jack, USB uh, in and outs. <laughs> it's crazy, um, just amazing keyboard. And actually, a friend of mine, she has it now. Um, I ended up selling it to uh, our local Long & McQuaid store and then she bought it uh, for herself and she's been enjoying the daylights out of that thing. Um, I ended up, I got rid of it because I was kind of like, I, I go through a lot of gears you guys know and it's kind of like, I, I kind of like, you know, I mean, am I really using it and that sort of thing and this and I, I, sometimes I get a little wishy-washy, right? And uh, so I thought, you know, I, I Go to the ch every time I go to the church, you know, I like to play around on the piano. I always do. And so I start to miss it. And it's like, ah, oh, am I going to use it though? And so I bought another one. And, you know, it, it cost me $249 for the keyboard, $35 for the stand, $10 bucks for the used sustain pedal. Um, and, and so it's about $300 and some dollars at the door, which isn't bad. Um, but it's a pacifier because I saw a keyboard in there by Yamaha that's like $1,000, right? And I started playing on it. It's got like weighted keys, soft touch, of course, you know, touch response keys. It has a boatload of features that'll probably take me the rest of my life to learn. But it's also got 88 keys. And I'm like, yes, I must have. Uh, and I do have just enough space in here to slam that sucker in, uh, amongst everything else, which is surprising, because uh, I also have a drum kit in here, um, and of course all my guitars and amps and everything else, and you know, I am running tight on space, but I do have enough room to fit this $1,000 keyboard in here, um, and that will be coming in here, I would like to think, at some point this year. Um, so this is just a get me through until I can get my hands on that one. But um, anyways, 
This is definitely in the beginner class range and I definitely highly recommend not just because for a beginner to say, okay, you know, I want to try it and if I don't like it, I won't lose a lot, which is good. Because not everybody, you know, will continue on in an instrument. Some people like an instrument and they'll try it and then they give it up. Others, they, they try an instrument, they fall in love with it and they can't get enough of it, right? And uh, so this is a good starting point and at least it does have the touch response keys. Um, you can also... Um, transpose up and do, up and down, uh, 12 steps down, 12 steps up, which is great. Um, does have, of course, a um, section in this for, uh, let's go to style, drums. So you can have like drum beats going by and you can play along. with that um, but it does have a boatload of different voices for different accompaniment beats it also has a boatload of different songs that you can jam along with um, you can split the keyboard it has several different arpeggios as well dual keyboarding splitting music database reverb function it has a uh, EQ system in it as well you can record your performance uh, there's 1.3 megabytes of storage built into this thing. Not a ton, but hey, at least it's something, you know. It does have a metronome in it. It's got chord dictionary, all kinds of stuff, you know, um, that just, you can do all kinds of stuff. And even with the, there's over 574 voices in this thing. Um, so you can really like dive into this thing and, and have a lot of fun, you know. <coughs> Submarine. Roller coaster. Some of these are actually pretty realistic sounding, uh, where some of them are actually quite stupid. But that's what you're going to find in anything that's like this. So this isn't a piano, but it's not a keyboard. It's kind of a, it's not a synthesizer. It's kind of like a one of the in-betweens, right? Um, but it does offer an awful lot of stuff to have a lot of fun with. And part of one of my conditions of getting this keyboard is it had to have certain specific sounds as part of its database. And it does have all of those sounds and then some um, in comparison to the EW400 I had. This has a lot of those same sounds. And it's like, great, so this is awesome. And um, now I'm still, I consider myself to be a beginner, even though I prefer more expensive toys. Um, you know, it's kind of just me, and that's why I kind of want a $1,000 keyboard, because it'll do anything and everything I could ever dream of needing to ever do. Um, at the same time, I get my 88 keys, I get my weighted keys, which, you know, our piano at the church has got weighted keys, and I'm so used to those, and I like them. Not that it's a mandatory thing, but I'm glad it does come with weighted keys for that kind of money. Um, you know, but... Um, it is a pretty realistic sounding piano, which is nice. But if you want to play in the lower octaves without going like dead low, you would have to play down here because it is a 61 keyboard. gets pretty loud up at around the three o'clock range at 12 o'clock it's kind of like that's not very much um but um so it could actually use a little bit more power uh the, the sound quality is actually really good you know I, I think overall the sound quality is definitely very good um and it doesn't take up a lot of space it does come with a power supply too also it will run off of double a batteries so if you want to be a hundred percent portal pick this up take it to the beach you can do that and just run off batteries. You don't need hydro. And you can run for hours off those batteries, providing you're using Energizer or Duracells, okay? Um, you don't want to use cheap, crappy batteries because I can guarantee you they will not last long at all. Um, but Energizers and Duracells, several hours of enjoyment, no problem. Um, but yeah, it does pack a lot of features. And I will copy and paste... Uh, in the description below uh, what's on the Long McQuaid site for what they have. 
you can download the manual for free if you want to know even more about this keyboard. Um, but I think it is the perfect keyboard for new beginners. All right, and all beginners are going to need that soft touch um, touch response system. Otherwise, it's just going to be very dull and boring having one set volume level uh, of keys. So I probably wouldn't recommend anything cheaper except to maybe a child to bang around on. You know, and those keyboards are like much, much cheaper than this. Um, you know, going to the next level below this. Um, but, um, you know, take a look at it, see what you think. Um, you can do a bit of a comparison on, even on my channel. I've had many other Yamaha keyboards. I've had a few Casio keyboards. Uh, my biggest keyboard that I've owned with 76 keys to date was the PSR EW400. Uh, I've got a number of videos on my channel with it. And uh, it was a great keyboard, um, you know, but I do want that creme de la creme thousand dollar one from Yamaha. And it's like, I really got to have it. Um, the headphone record out on this, you've got private listening for headphones. Use it as a record out, direct into a PA system, amp it up there. But you will need like a stage monitor beside you in order to hear the keyboard. If you're going to even think about trying to play this on stage, which I probably wouldn't suggest. It's not that kind of a level of keyboard. Um, but I have seen people do some pretty crazy stuff with some cheap instruments. So hey, to each their, their own. Uh, it does have a USB output on this as well so that you can go to your computer, plug it in, run it through your favorite DAW program. Um, the auxiliary in is nice. You can hook up your iPad, iPod, iPhone, uh, Raider MP3 players. Um, if it's got a headphone output on your device, Android, you can put it to the input of the auxiliary in this and jam around with your favorite songs that way too and pipe it right through these speakers, which is great. Um, so, you know, it does have quite a bit for the money, really, when you think about it. It does have a lot for the money. Um, and uh, I do I do really like it, um, but I kind of love that $1,000 keyboard more. And uh, so this will be having a short time here, but, you know... Um, it's still, I wanted to check out something different too at the same time, you know, and just to see. And, you know, it, it gives me the, the ability to put this on my channel for you guys to, to find out what I think of this particular level of keyboard too. Because like I said, I've done reviews on a lot of gear, okay, keyboards, guitars, amps, pedals, pedal boards, you name it. And, um, but anyways, so there you have it the Yamaha PSR E363 um, and uh, if you like it give her go out and buy her go to your local music store that carries Yamaha keyboards and if they have one in stock give it a spin for yourself and see if you like it and if it's going to be suitable if not there are more expensive ones out there for sure you know um, but um, this is definitely for beginners only and uh, I, I would think the serious beginner you know, and because um, then they'll have that access to the uh, touch response. Anyways, so thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Oh, and one more thing. Star rating. Yes, I almost forgot. Four and a half out of five is where I'm going to put this thing. I think that is more than fair. Um, it is not perfect uh, for one. And um, as far as the rest of it goes... I find I have to have it at 3 o'clock because on the dial because at 12 o'clock position it's just not loud enough um, you know it will get louder faster so there's about 2 o'clock o'clock is actually optimal setting uh, you can max it out it can get a little obnoxious so I think it should have more volume than it does at the 12 I think it should be about double that at 12 o'clock but it doesn't um, you know so every keyboard is going to be different in every price range this is low wattage output in comparison to the next version up from this um, which uh, that is something that uh, is another thing to look at as well. Um, they're all different stages with keyboards, right? So anyways, that's it. I'm gone. I'm out of here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Catch you in the next one. See ya.